let's talk about the things that many guys do that they think they are doing which makes them look cool but to women it's actually making them come across very unattractive now without a doubt it could be that guys do these things and they do look cool in front of other guys but really in front of the girls we just look at you and roll our eyes so if you want to know more about it well this is the video for you very first one, and I can feel the eye rolls already, claiming to be an alpha male. If you have to claim to be anything, then it's a sign you really are not that thing. Now the guys that are obsessed with talking about who is alpha and beta are usually the most insecure. It's just as daft as when people have to brag about how much money they make, because in reality, no one that has money talks about it. And I can't help but naturally think of the character Jay from The Inbetweeners every time I hear someone say they are an alpha male. Comparing us to other women. But you aren't like the other girls. You're so much better than my ex-girlfriend. You are the most prettiest out of all of the girls here. Any variation of these sentences is going to make us cringe. If you have to bring someone down to try and raise us up to make us feel better, then it's very toxic. But you aren't like the other girls. Every lady hates this sentence because it shows how little you actually know about ladies. Because newsflash, some of us do like to play basketball. Some of us do spend 15 hours a day gaming when new downloadable content is available. Some of us do act like your bros. Deal with it. Being demanding to the waiting staff. Mm, goes without saying really, doesn't it? Don't order their food. This actually happened to me in a restaurant. A guy that I was on a date with listened to what I said I felt like eating, and then when the waitress came around, he placed his order and then told her what I wanted to eat. And I kept it down and I thought, I'll let this pass, and then a couple of months down the line, there was a lot more red flags that popped up, and I realized this guy from that date was displaying controlling behavior. Sometimes I get it, it's a nice gesture, especially if you guys order the same dish. You can say, we will both have two rare steaks, please. However, if you you have to order for us you make us feel like a child and that we are not capable of doing things for ourselves. reckless driving it is not sexy ever it makes us ladies really fear for our lives and i've noticed that sometimes a guy feels that if they drive recklessly where they are speeding and braking last minute it makes them appear more masculine and therefore more attractive but you know what it really doesn't if a girl has to hold on to the door handle for dear life when she's in a car with you well you can expect your facebook relationship status to remain a single saying the words cheer up love also known as catcalling. I have never ever fallen in love with someone who told me that I should be smiling more and that I would look better if I smiled. Didn't work for Romeo and Juliet, so it isn't gonna work in real life. Romeo didn't cause a fuss outside Juliet's balcony and exclaim, cheer up love, you pretty, you should smile more. Bad hygiene. This one, I don't really need to go into great details, pretty self-explanatory. If you want to kiss a girl, make sure you have nice teeth, do the routine dental procedures. This also applies to wearing deodorant, showering regularly and having nice looking nails. Wearing way too much cologne. Cologne is sexy. However, cologne, it's very potent stuff. And if you spray more than three sprays, well, you can expect it to actually melt a lady's face off. I'm kidding. The aroma will be so overpowering that you could actually get rid of dates as opposed to bagging them. Saying that they don't order girly drinks. If you refer to a certain drink as girly, well, you can expect to not get a text back. You are still a man even if you order and drink an apple teeny. No one is going to pop up from behind the bar and say, stop, this is the feminine police. If you drink that cosmopolitan, you are going to grow double Ds. Spitting. Yeah. It's never been attractive. So unattractive, in fact, that even if a girl is watching a football game with you, you can expect her to roll her eyes and wince when she sees other football players do this on the pitch. How much they party or have partied in the past. We don't care how many shots of Jaeger mice you did in your early 20s. We just want to get to know the healthy version of you now. So you don't have to talk about how much you used to drink and throw up on nights out. Gross. Being overly competitive. Women naturally want everyone to win. Everyone is a winner in the woman's eyes. So when we see your competitive ways, it turns us off. And I once went on a mini golf date with a guy who was more concerned about beating me than actually having a good time and getting to know me on the date. And it was terrible because in the end, I just thought, why did you go on a date with me? What was the point of this? He clearly didn't read the brief about what a date should actually be. 
being mean to their mums or about their mums behind their backs. And I don't need to give you a description of why, it's, well, it's obvious. Bragging about fights or going to jail. Anything that shows that you are naturally aggressive is a huge turn off. So bragging about the fights you've been in, even the fights you've lost, or just talking about the time when you had a black eye for two weeks or the time you went to jail. It really is not sexy and even if you feel it's a way to show off your masculinity, you just come across as an aggressive monster. Now I do remember being 18 and going round to my first ever boyfriend's house and he was really proud to show me a punch mark in the wall behind his bedroom door and I thought wow that's very weird and I literally asked to use the bathroom and I left and I ran home frowning or looking alpha in pictures. Speaking of profile pictures, holding large sums of money in your Tinder profile. Ugh. I don't care how much guys will say that women are gold diggers. If you have to flash a wad of cash in a profile picture, you look like a complete buffoon. You're trying too hard to let us know that you have money and really those that have money don't post pictures about it. Unless you want to attract a gold digger, of course. The unsolicited pictures. And you know exactly what pictures I am on about. If we ask you for them directly, that's a different story. But if you just send them to us, it's very creepy and very weird. Just because you were talking to us in cyberspace doesn't mean that you throw all social etiquette rules out of the windows. And the reason why this is weird is because women take it for actual face value. It's just the same feeling as if you knocked on my front door, dropped down your trousers and displayed your Benjamin. It's weird, it's very sexually aggressive, and that's that's exactly what it feels like to a girl when she gets an unsolicited picture. It's the same thing. And I did read on a forum on Reddit that a woman said that if we receive unsolicited pictures, then we should forward those pictures to the guy's mother or another family member. And I don't know, is that a fair thing to do? If I've received something I don't want to receive, then surely your mum should receive it so she knows what type of guy she's raised and correct your behaviour. Calling other men unmasculine because they don't like a certain hobby, movie, music, TV, whatever it may be. There is nothing that makes a lady's eye roll more when a guy turns around and says someone is feminine because of his actions. You don't lose out on any dose of testosterone just because you watched a Korean drama. Your bicep muscles are not going to shrink just because you enjoy painting with watercolours. The size of your junk is not going to get smaller just because you listen to K-pop bands. If a guy has to make out that he's better than someone else based on masculine actions, you can expect to never date a high value lady and to continue having toxic relationships and date women that only care about your bank balance and how tall you are. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face, like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.